Good morning. It's Tuesday, September 19th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Right Time, and our scripture is Nehemiah chapter 9. When Nehemiah is praying, You saw the misery of our ancestors in Egypt, and you heard the cries from beside the Red Sea. You displayed miraculous signs and wonders against Pharaoh, his officials, and all his people, for you knew how arrogantly they were treating our ancestors. You have a glorious reputation that has never been forgotten. You divided the sea for your people so they could walk through on dry land. And then you hurled their enemies into the depths of the sea. They sank like stones beneath the mighty waters. You led our ancestors by a pillar of cloud during the day and a pillar of fire at night so that they could find their way. You came down at Mount Sinai and spoke to them from heaven. You gave them regulations and instructions that were just, and decrees and commands that were good. You instructed them concerning your holy Sabbath, and you commanded them through Moses, your servant, to obey all your commands, decrees, and instructions. You gave them bread from heaven when they were hungry, and water from the rock when they were thirsty. You commanded them to go and take possession of the land that you had sworn to give them. After being released from yet another long period of bondage, Israel rebuilt Jerusalem's walls. But the long, hard process to rebuild a nation had just begun. As the covenant with their God is renewed, the man who oversaw the whole project, Nehemiah, leads the worship time, remembering parts of their journey, released from Egyptian bondage, travels through the wilderness, and God's continual providence meeting their every need. He challenges the people to renew the covenant in their hearts, to renew their grip on the plow handle of God's kingdom, and serve without fear or reservation. Looking back is a good thing when it's used to take strength in moving forward, not just longing for the good old days. There have been more than a few times in my life that process served God's purpose well. At the beginning of our ministry together, I told Elizabeth I was convinced God was leading me to give up the job that had fed, clothed, and housed us for the past ten years so that I could go to school and work out just how God wanted to use us in ministry. The timing of my announcement was, to say the least, odd. Elizabeth and our newborn third child, Carrie, were in bed trying to get through scarlet fever. My bride smiled and said, Okay, as long as we do it together. Over the next 40 plus years, there were so many difficult times and so many right times when God's providential care opened a window when all the doors had been locked shut. Today, In these early days of retirement, we have walked gingerly, awaiting God's move once again. We have often talked of what to do now, and there is no handbook to give definitive answers, other than the book that we have used to proclaim the kingdom of God. And from that book, the wisdom of Solomon still speaks through tough times and easier times, through gladness and sadness, with all the certainty and mystery life holds. Scripture still tells me this one thing. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. For you today, I have, perhaps like you too, I've been broken, confused, wondering where the strength for another single step will come. The answer is always the same. God will supply at the right time. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.